Hi everyone, and welcome to part five of Let's Build New York Brownstones. Last time we finished this cramped studio apartment for a university student, and this time we're gonna make another cramped studio apartment for a musician. Before we get to that, there were a few quick changes that I wanted to make to this apartment. I'm not gonna change too much, I just wanted to add in a few things that you all suggested. So first, little Chrissy suggested that I add some fairy lights under the shelf here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and find those fairy lights that came with Parenthood. Cause I think that will look really cute. So I think those were actually in wall decorations rather than lighting. So we'll just go in here and search by parenthood, find that. So I think this one will work pretty well. Or maybe we should go with a smaller one. No, I think this is fine. Yeah, we might actually be able to, wait, never mind. We cannot size this down. So I'll just leave it like this, that's fine. And I wanna see how that fits above the bed. Yeah, I think that looks good. So we'll just scoot that forward a little bit like that. And then another suggestion was that Michaela said that I should switch the stove and the empty, empty counter. So I'll just go ahead and make that swap really quick. So we'll just move this as well. Cause yeah, I agree that this, this will look a little bit better than having the stove just on the end like that. So we'll get you in there and then add that over there. And then I'm gonna move this right here. And then I think we should also move the poster over there as well. Although unfortunately for some reason, it's not wanting to let me grab this wall decoration. I guess because I sized it down, it it's kind of stuck there. I, I don't know. So I, I guess that's just kind of stuck there, unfortunately. So we'll just leave that, which kind of sucks because I really wanted that to be above the stove, but it's just stuck. I mean, we can... Okay, there we go. Now we can grab it. That's weird. All right, so I guess we just had to delete the wall and then now we can pull that back and then hopefully everything is good. All right. So glad we're able to find a fix to that problem. Okay, so we're good. And then the last thing I wanted to add to this apartment was putting a wall light above the sink, which was suggested by Karma Picture Studios. So I'm thinking we can use that small bar light on the wall under the shelf. So that is this one right here. Yeah, I feel like this is something that you would see above the sink like this. So that also helps to brighten up the kitchen a little bit and that is it. Yeah, I think we're good. So we're going to move on to this apartment. And for this apartment, Martin suggested that I rearrange the floor plan a little bit and put the bathroom two tiles in front of the front door here. So I think what that means is putting the bathroom right in here instead of over here. Hopefully I'm getting that right. So we're actually going to just move that in and then make it so the bathroom is right here. And I think that actually works a lot better because that way you can have the door to the bathroom right along here. And it, you don't, and you also don't have this awkward space right as you walk into the apartment. So I think that is so much better. And that way we can also have the bed right in here maybe, or we could also turn that into the kitchen. I don't know, we gotta figure out the layout. Cause this apartment is still pretty small. And I was also thinking it could look good to put this cinder block or this um, stone along this wall as well because it is the wall separating the unit, so I think it would still have that underneath the sheetrock. So we'll just do that, you know, just to break up the white a little bit. I think we'll add the same wood flooring out here. And we're gonna need another light in this area in here, although I might change this later on like I did with the other apartment. So we'll just get that in the bathroom, although we do not want that flooring in there. So we're just going to use that same flooring that we used in the other apartment because I wanted it to look like this apartment was done at the same time as this one, so they just use the same materials between the two of them. But we gotta figure out this layout now. So let me actually turn the grid on so we can see what we have to work with. So what might be better is to make this space over here the kitchen. Like we could even use these spaces here to do it, like put the stove here, maybe fridge over here, and then have the recipe counters, and that would actually give us a good bit of space to work with, and then maybe a little table right here and then a couch and TV in this space and then bed over here. I don't know if this is gonna work out exactly, but I think that might work better. I mean, you probably wouldn't want to ideally walk in right to the bed, but I feel like it's gonna work out better to use this area in here as the living space and then make this the bed area. Or you could have the kitchen along here and then the bed over here. Maybe that'd be better. That would give the bed a little bit more privacy. Yeah, it's, it's a bit tough to figure out. But either way, I wanted to stick another window in the back of this apartment where we're gonna have the bed area. So I think we're gonna do the, do the bed in this space. So we'll have a window here and then we can have a sliding glass door in here leading out to the backyard. 
because I do want this to have access to the yard since it is on this, you know, since it is on the back of this lower level. So let's find the sliding door, not that one. We want uh, this one right here, and I think we'll have it be, um, we'll have it be black. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay, so we'll do that. And I want to check that that's the same height that we had the window on the other apartment at. Is that? I think that is. Okay, so we'll leave it like that. And I wanted to have a radiator in front of this window as well, just so it kind of has the same thing going on that the other unit did. And we've got to figure out how we're doing this kitchen. So once again, I'm going to use the same counters and cabinets that I used over here. Okay, so we can't have anything right in this space because obviously that's going to make it so Sims can't walk into the apartment. So this is definitely a really wonky layout. But maybe what we could do is have counter here and then we can have, um, I think we use the nicer version of that stove in this apartment. So this apartment will have a slightly better stove and then that can go there. And then we can have the fridge over on, I guess we had to have it on this wall. Yeah, this is really a not great layout um, because we can't have it come over here because then obviously it's gonna be blocking the sliding glass door. You know, I'm thinking maybe my original idea of having the layout or having the kitchen over here would work a little bit better. I mean, you don't get that as much privacy for the bedroom, but I think this just gives it, gives us more space to work with. And a few of you did let me know in the comments of the last part that Sims can actually cut food on the counter, which I didn't think they could given that whole fruit bowl fiasco that happened when Stranger Phil released where they stuck like a fruit bowl on a counter like this and then left this empty and then supposedly Sims couldn't cook. So because of that, I thought Sims weren't able to cut food on diagonal or corner counters, but apparently they can. So given that, I think this layout does work a bit better than having it over there because it does make the kitchen a little bit less disjointed and it kind of makes that entrance area feel less claustrophobic as well so because of that we're gonna have to switch the windows and door so we're gonna have, we're gonna move the sliding glass door right there and then the window and radiator radiator can go right here and then we'll have the bed right here i mean it's kind of unfortunate that you walk into the apartment right into the bed but you know we, we gotta do what we gotta do in this space so for this apartment, I want it to feel a bit less colorful than the last one is. So I want to use maybe more blacks and reds, have slightly more of an industrial feel to it. So let's actually sort the beds by black because I'm thinking a black bed would look good in here. So we'll do that and then see what we end up, end up with. So once again, I think I'm going to use a double bed, even though I know that's not the best idea for space, but... You know, people people like uh, you know people want to have a, a double bed, so we could use this one. I don't know about this one though. I don't know if that's quite the right feel. There is this one that I think has kind of a cool modern feel. I don't want to use the same bed that I used in the last apartment. We could use that one. Yeah, because I know we have this swatch of that one, but you know, I, I don't want to reuse the same bed in two different apartments. We also have this one if we want to go for something that's a little bit cheaper because I also don't want to use a bed that's too expensive. So I think we will actually go with this cheaper base game double bed and that one is a bit smaller than that other one was so I think it does work for that reason. Okay so we get you in there and then we actually have a bit of a bit of space for a nightstand so I think we'll go with this Ikea-esque nightstand and then we get a lamp on that. So let's find that. I think there might be some, oh let's stop sorting this by black but I think there might be some swatches of this one that work pretty well like we could go with that um, we could also go with what would work well like what is kind of a rock star feel to it it could be really fun to use a lava light so let's take that yeah I think that I think that feels fun like that that definitely goes with the vibe of this apartment and what else do we need to add into the space so ideally I want to have a tv and a couch and then a dining room table. And I also want to have plenty of room for musical instruments because this is supposed to be a musician's apartment. But there was a decoration that came with a Moschino stuff pack that looked like a guitar amp. So I think that would be absolutely perfect to place in this apartment. So we're going to sort by that and find that. So that was, oh, I just saw that. Okay, so there it is. So we can stick this over here and hopefully Sims should be able to get through the space. And then, yeah, I think it'll be fine. They should be, should be able to move through that. And then next to that, 
we can add in a guitar. Um, actually, I'm not sure about that swatch. Maybe we should just go with the plain black one or this one. I kind of like how this one looks or no, I think I like the black a little bit more and then we'll find a guitar. So let's go into activities and skills, go to this category and then find that. I don't know if I'm going to have multiple guitars in here or not. There might not be enough room for that. So we'll just stick with this one um, or we can put it here in front of it. Yeah, I think that actually looks kind of nice. And then maybe we can even have another one in here. Like they have a few different guitars that they use. Like maybe one's electric and one's acoustic. They like to have a little bit of variety. So you have that one. Uh, we also have this one. I like this one. This one's really cool. And it actually comes with some neat, with, um, some neat color swatches. So we'll make this red. So we've got a little bit of a guitar collection going on over here. And there was the swatch of that poster that came with Parano that looked like um, it had like bands on it. So I think that'd be really neat to add in above here. So we'll just go with that. And we have to figure out what to do. Like we've got this awkward long hallway right here. So we got to figure out something to do with that. Maybe we can add some of those posters that came with Get Together in there. Because they were like the DJ posters. So I think that would be really fun to take up that space. We got this. We've also got this thing. I think this one's cool. Yeah, I like this. So we'll go with this and use the orange swatch. Yeah, I think that one looks pretty good. And then I want to add this above the bed. Like we can just add a whole bunch of different posters in along here. And we have, we do have the ones that came with city living. So I want to actually sort by city living to see what all of those were. Like we have this one, I could see this one fitting into this apartment pretty well. Like I just wanna have a whole bunch of posters all over the place in here. Cause I definitely see this as a young musician who's trying to make it big. And then we do have all of these ones. Um, so this is gonna be cool. So maybe we'll size this one up and then add that in here. And then there was the one of the Simplang guitar that actually came with bass game. So I wanna find that and stick that in. Cause that would certainly go with the theme. Yeah, this one here. So we'll have that in right here above the bed. And let's actually rearrange this just a little bit to fill in the space a bit better. And now I'm not really sure about that poster. So I think we're gonna get rid of that and then figure out something else to go in its place. Oh, we had this one that actually has someone playing the guitar on it. Yeah, that would be perfect. Okay, that's it, that's done. So we've got that whole wall area finished. Uh, oh, I also wanted to stick a poster. I was trying to move this up slightly, but um, not a poster. I wanted to stick a curtain on this wall here. So I think we're going to actually use the same curtain from seasons that I used in the other apartment because I do like that black swatch. And I think that is something that would go very well with this apartment. So we'll just get that. And do we want to have curtains? No, I don't think we need curtains above the sliding glass door. So we'll just leave that empty and whoops, did not mean to stick those back there. And now we got to figure out what on earth we're going to do with the space. You know what? I think I'm going to actually procrastinate on having to figure out the rest of this layout and finish the kitchen because we kind of left it half done. So we'll finish this and then figure out the rest. So above where the stove is, we'll just get a smaller cabinet and maybe we should have actually used a smaller cabinet above the sink. But I don't know if I want to do the whole shelf thing that I did in the other apartments. So maybe we'll just stick a smaller cabinet there and then leave it empty. Yeah, I don't know if I really want to do that whole thing, but we will get the same range head that we used in the other apartment. So that is this one right here. So we'll just get you, stick that in there. And perhaps we could also stick a microwave on one of these corner counters because that is always nice to have. So we can have one of those here and then we can also make it look like there's a utensil holder next to the stove there. And then we'll leave this counter empty so that Sims can cook on it because hopefully they can. I mean, I thought they couldn't, but apparently they can. So hopefully that's true, but we'll use a different microwave in this apartment just so it doesn't feel like we're using the exact same stuff that we used in the other one. And then I'm going to get, I think we'll use a different utensil holder than what we used there as well. There was the raw utensil holder, so we can always use that one. So that's this one right here. So that will not snap where I want it to, of course. So we're going to do the whole pulling this out and then moving this right in there thing. So, okay. That is not the right spot. That should be good. Okay. Perfect. I mean, it's kind of hard to reach that. They kind of sucks with the microwaves right there, but oh, well, you know what, or, or, or what we could do is instead of putting a microwave there, 
we can stick a coffee maker because that at least takes up less space. So I think that works a bit better. Okay, so we'll have that. And then I wanted to do the whole putting in a paper towel dispenser and a soap dispenser thing that I like to do. So we got that. And then we'll just go to bathrooms and grab the soap there. So that is room category. And then here. And then we will find the soap there. So we'll go with a black soap dispenser for this apartment just so it's a little bit different. And the thing is, I worry if I stick it here, it'll affect Sims being able to cook. But I think we'll just do that and hope for the best that it doesn't get in the way. I'll play test this and see what works and what doesn't work, but I think that's fine. Yeah, I just really don't want it to get in the way of um, this counter potentially. And I think I'll just not do the whole sticking the cutting board on the wall thing that I did in the other apartment, just so once again, we don't have things looking too much the same between these two apartments because I don't want to make it look like the same person furnished, I mean, I, I know I'm the same per person furnishing both apartments, but I want it to look like different people made different choices when furnishing this apartment. So maybe we can stick this poster right here in this space. Yeah, I think that looks nice. So we've got that whole Grim, Re Grim Reaper poster going on there. And I don't know if we want to stick another one here as well. Like maybe a fun pancake poster in the kitchen because you make pancakes in the kitchen. That's cute. And okay, do we want to stick a, a shelf in there? We could always just have a bigger cabinet above the, above the sink and leave it at that because I feel like it's going to look kind of weird having a shelf right there. So I think this is fine. We'll just leave it like that. I know this isn't really the best kitchen, but we got to work with what we got. And I also wanted to get a rug in here. Yeah, hopefully the other apartments will look a little bit nicer because next time we will be furnishing one of the apartments that are upstairs and those are a bit bigger. So we'll be able to make something nicer, something that has a bit more space to it. So I think that will be really fun. And we'll just get that mat in there like this. Yeah, I think that looks good. Let's see if maybe there's another coloring that will look better. So we could do this. Yeah, I think something to add a little bit of color to the space in here would be good. And okay, so I think the kitchen is done. So now we got to come back to figuring out what on earth we're going to do with the space because I did want to have a TV and a couch but I don't know if that's really gonna fit here very well. We could always stick a couch at the end of the bed here. Like that might work. Just a little love seat. So let me actually go to the comfort category in here just so we sort only by the love seats. And I don't think I'm gonna actually use this one because we used it in the other apartment, but I just wanna stick it here to get an idea of space. Or maybe what we can do instead of having a whole couch and TV setup is we can get rid of this poster. Actually, let's not get rid of it because I think we could use it elsewhere. So we'll just stick that over there and then we can add a wall mount to TV right here. And then that way the Sims can sit on the bed and watch TV from there because I know in the comments of the last part, a few of you were bringing up that I should have done that with the other apartment, but I didn't end up changing that. So we can at least do that with this apartment and I think that'll work pretty well. And then instead of sitting, sticking a couch here at the foot of the bed, what we can do is we can stick a keyboard there as well to go with the whole musician thing just so they have more choices of instruments than just the guitar so I think there'll be something to add a little bit more of a personal touch and I just okay no that's not what I wanted I saw that I was just thinking we could add a tablet to the end table in here just so that they have that as well and then we can add that remote decoration to the end table as well because you know that would be where they keep their tv remote and hopefully having this keyboard here doesn't block the door I'll have to play test that. I did play test the other apartment. I forgot to play test whether or not they could get to the wardrobe, but I tested everything else and they were able to use everything fine. So thankfully that worked out pretty well, but I want to find the remote decoration and that that's okay. That's not what I wanted. Hit enter a little bit too soon. So let's search for remote once again. And we want this one right here. So you can go on this end table like that and then let's find that tablet not decorate jeez i'm clicking the wrong things all over the place so we'll go here to electronics miscellaneous and find this tablet and then stick that there so i'll make it so sims can actually grab that and do we want to have some other stuff on the end table here like what else would you have on the end table something i do wish they had was a lot oh maybe we can stick this camera although that's not snapping unfortunately but I do wish we had actual electric alarm clocks because the closest thing to that we have in this game is this. You know, like this isn't, this is like more of a mantle clock, not an end table alarm clock. 
So I hope that's something they added in eventually because I always like sticking those on night tables because that's you know, kind of something you usually have there, but we don't have that, which is rather unfortunate. Can we fit this on here? No, we can't. I want to try, try to find some other neat knickknacks that I can add to this end table. We could find one of those song sheet books because I think those are in the debug category and place those on the nightstand like it's a song there learning to play or maybe it's a song that they're writing i think that would actually be a really nice personal touch to this so hopefully that's a thing that we can find i'm pretty sure i've seen that i think this is kind of well that's a violin book so that's not exactly it but that is something we can go back to or this is another good option so i'm gonna leave that as a placeholder in case we can't find that so maybe we can find that if we search for i want to say song lyrics is that it is this it maybe this is it Oh, that's it. I mean, that looks like the violin book, but that's that's pretty much what I was looking for. So we'll just have that and this guitar book on the nightstand. Like, it's stuff that they're learning from to teach themselves. So I think that's actually really neat. And then I want to figure out some more posters to place on this wall over here just to fill in things a little bit more. So I know we have some other things in here that could be good. So we could have this, and I think this could be something kind of cool, like kind of a a little different than everything else we have in here. Because I don't want to be too color coordinated with these posters. I want there to be some mismatchingness to them. So now we have this whole wall free to do whatever we want to do with it. So we have plenty of space to add in a table and some chairs. So I'm thinking we can maybe do the same thing. Or we actually have space to add in a desk. So maybe we could add in one of those computer desks from City Living as well. So we can grab that. And actually in front of the door is not a great space. So we'll move that over here and have it in this coloring. There was also that really cool trunk item that came with Moschino stuff, but I don't think we're gonna have enough space to fit that in here, so I don't think I'm gonna add that in. But we'll add a laptop so we can get this one, have a different one that we added into the other apartment, and we can use this cool one. Ooh, I like this one. Okay, so we'll grab that, and then for the desk we can use, or the chair we can use this one, because I do like this one. And we can make it maybe red and black to add a little bit more color to this apartment or we could do this swatch or i don't know i kind of like this one or actually sort of like how this one looks a little better yeah we'll go with that and then i believe we have three okay no we don't have, we don't have three tiles there for the chairs but um we can make it work okay so let's go here to a dining room and try to find a table that works because i want to use something different than what we used in the other apartment so we could use this one. This kind, this is kind of like a cheapy table. So that's an option. Or we have this one. There is also this one from City Living, which could look nice. Oh, I like that one. So we're gonna go with this. And we could also add in some mismatching chairs. So maybe we could use these ones. And we could have it in this color over here. And then perhaps over here, we could add that chair. Or we could even add this one in. Like it's something they got from the flea market. Or, you know, maybe we could make this actually kind of match. Like that. Yeah, I think that looks good. And now I'm not really feeling this blue chair over here. So I think we're going to actually go with this swatch. Or maybe this swatch of it. Yeah, I think the solid black looks a little bit better. So do we want to have anything on this table? I'm not sure if I see the sim living here as someone who would really decorate much so maybe i won't stick anything on the table but then over here we can stick that same light that i used over in the other apartment like the one that just kind of looks like a cheap lamp you get from target i actually had a light pretty much like this that i got from target and that thing broke because it had concrete at the base here like that's what was holding it together and the concrete just somehow broke apart because i was remember i was i remember i was actually sitting there working on a video and I just heard this like crack and then all of a sudden the whole lamp just like toppled over and then I went to go try to sit it back upright and then would not sit upright just toppled back over so I had to strategically prop it up against the wall for a while until I got it replaced and we got rid of it but yeah that's rather unfortunate because I actually really like that la lamp but it was a ten dollar one for Target so I guess it makes sense that it eventually broke on me and just kind of fell over Okay, so we got this nice little lamp in here. And another thing I wanted to do was change the lighting in here to be what we used in the other apartment. Just because I do like the dim feel that that gave that place. Okay, so we'll get you in there. 
And I don't know what to do over here in this area. I guess we could use the same light in here. The thing is, that just feels very weirdly placed in there. But I guess I could position it so it's kind of like the... I don't remember which way the door opens. I think maybe it opens in this way. Like, this doesn't matter, but ideally I wouldn't like it to be so that you open the door right into the lamp. That would just be kind of annoying. And uh, we should have another lamp in the kitchen or another light in the kitchen. So maybe we can add this one in. In here. Or we could do what we did in the other apartment. And just add a light above the sink. Yeah, because I do want this to be a bit better lit than it is. But I don't know if I want to have yet another hanging light over in the kitchen. Like, that just might be a little bit too much to have that many. So, we'll just throw that in over there. And then I want to have some sort of rug in this area. So, I want to see if there's a swatch of that Moschino stuff rug that will actually work over here. Because it does have some pretty cool swatches. So, let's see what we got. We're going to size this down, though, because I feel like that's definitely a little bit too big for the space. Um, so we'll make it a bit, or should we size it down once more? Yeah, I think that fits the space a little bit better. Because I want it to be something, you know, kind of like a nice warm rug that they put their feet down on when they get out of bed. So, you know, you know they're not just sticking it right down this cold, hard flooring. So that rug actually looks pretty good. This one looks pretty good as well. I don't know if I, like, I don't think the red really looks as good as in this apartment as I thought it would. So I'm kind of feeling this rug in here. I know it's a bit imperfect, but this isn't an apartment that I'm trying to make look old neat and put together. And perhaps over here, we could throw in yet another guitar. Just so they got a whole bunch of different choices to choose from. We could also add in a violin. But I kind of see The Sim as being more of a keyboard and guitar player. Oh, this one's really cool. So this could be like their prized possession guitar. I'm still not sure if I want to have any decorations on this table here. Well, what we could do is maybe put a little plant there to brighten up the space a little bit and then take some of those bills that we used in the other apartment and stick them on the table next to it. I think that could be something that adds something to this table without making it feel too neat and put together. So we'll grab a couple of the bills out of here and then just, okay, apparently these do not want to snap to this table for some reason. I don't know if that's, maybe they just didn't. I could have sworn they snapped to, I think they snapped to that shelf. So we'll have to get that out once again and use that. I mean, that does make it a little bit easier to place it on the table because we don't have to deal with moving it out of the way. Or did I just grab the wrong kind of bills? Hold on a second. It looks like fortunately we're able to raise this up so that it's at the height of the table. So we'll just do that. And right, we don't need to move the table at all to position it. So I think we'll move this one right here. And then this one can go over there. Although unfortunately it's clipping a little bit. So I think we'll just set these apart like that. Yeah, I really don't like the clipping though. We'll just do that. Okay, so they're hardly clipping. And then we can size this down. And then move this out of the way. And then place it so it just looks like it's sitting there like that. And then we'll change it to green. Although now I'm not really, I'm not really sure about that plant. So perhaps we'll just leave it at the bills on the table here. And you all can let me know if you have any other ideas for what I could do to furnish this table. So I know once again, this is kind of another messy looking apartment. And these are fun to decorate, but I'm definitely looking forward to making something that feels more nicely furnished and a little bit more put together. And the reason why I wanted to do these cheaper micro apartments is that I wanted to have variety in what we're furnishing. So it doesn't feel like we're just furnishing the same kind of thing over and over again. And a couple of people did suggest in the comments of the last part or the part before that, that we can make some two floor apartments. So let me check to see who it was that suggested that. It was Martin and Ryan who suggested that. So I think that's something I'm definitely going to do like maybe we could do that in the other building because I kind of feel like the other building is going to be a little bit nicer. I don't think, oh no, I use that painting. So we're not going to use that again. We can use this one. Maybe not that one. I don't think we actually ended up using this one in the other apartment. So we'll stick that there. 
Uh, but yeah, I, I think a two-floor apartment would be really cool, just so that way we'd furnish something that's a bit nicer and can have more bedrooms in it. And then next time we'll be furnishing an apartment that takes up a whole level, so we'll have a lot more space to work with, which will be great. But I think that's going to be it for the main area of this apartment in this part. So we'll move on to the bathroom, and I'm just going to use similar stuff to what I used over here in the other one. So we'll use the same fixtures, and then just decorate it and detail it a little bit differently. And because of how I laid out this apartment, we're going to have to use the sh a shower in here rather than a shower tub combo, but that's fine because, you know, we don't want to take up too much space with this. So I think this size and way of doing things actually works out perfectly. And I'm going to use a different medicine cabinet than what we used in the other apartment because I think this is something that wouldn't be there with the apartment. Like this is something that you would bring in on your own. So we can use the, I think we'll just use the dark brown color for this. And then we'll have the toilet paper right over here next to it. And then we can get another hand towel in here. And I guess we can do the whole shelf thing that we did in the other apartment. Um, I think we'll just go with red for the towel. The problem is this sink doesn't really look like it has a good surface. You could put soap and toothbrushes on, but... I don't really want to do the exact same thing that we did in the other apartments. So what I may do is stick these out here and then get that red shelf and try to make it look like they're precariously propped on top of this lip here. I mean, I don't know if I'll be able to get this to work right. And oh yeah, I forgot to mention the last part, but I will have a, I do have a link in the description of the video to the shelf in case any of you are wondering where to get it. Um, and unfortunately, it looks like that's clipping into the mirror a little bit yeah that kind of fits in there awkwardly so i mean we could move it down on this level and stick it here like maybe it's kind of seated i don't know like maybe realistically you could have something fit there and it wouldn't fall over i don't know but either way i just don't want to do the exact same thing that i did in the other apartment and then we will grab a trash can to stick in here because we didn't really have space out there to stick a trash can so we're going to use a different one in this one and we can add this one or we could do this one but in a different color because i do like the bag that that's, this one has in it i feel like it kind of gives it more of a realistic feel so we can have it in this color i think that'll work and i'm not i mean it's it's not gonna be placed perfectly so we'll just leave it at that and over here we'll get that shower in so we're just gonna go with the cheapy shower this one and maybe change the color to the swatch that has some or you know we'll, we'll leave it like this yeah, we'll leave it as a simple white shower. And let's get a rug to use as a bath mat. So I think what'll work well for this bathroom is taking this little one that came with City Living and then just sticking it partially under here. And we can change it to maybe the brown or this or the green. I don't know, I, I like, I kind of wanted to go with black, but I sort of want to do something a bit different. We could go with this. I think that actually looks pretty good. Okay, so leave that in there. Looks like I also forgot to put wallpaper on this wall. And we need to figure out somewhere to put a towel in. So unfortunately, I think the towel is going to have to go over here, which isn't really like, the little, that's a little farther, far away from the shower, but I think that's fine. It'll work. And then we'll make this black. And then perhaps we can stick some kind of little painting or poster or something above here. Although I don't know if we need that. I think maybe we'll just leave that empty. And then we could stick something over here. So we could stick one of those frame posters over here just so it's something a bit different or, I don't know. Uh, we could just go with this. I mean, we use this in the other apartment, but I think that's fine. Or we can go to the miscellaneous decorations category and try to find another one of those ones that were unlocked through City Living. Yeah, I think we'll have some more in there that we haven't used yet. Cause I just don't wanna repeat ones that I've used in the other apartment. So we've got, I don't think we've used this one. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so we'll we'll have that over there. And I think that's going to be it for this bathroom. I don't think we really need anything else in there. But I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. So next time we'll finish up this area out here and then start on furnishing one of the apartments that's upstairs. So with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and bye.